I need to tell you, people today, Christians all over our world, all oh, how they need that revelation that Paul had. Because when God reveals his son in you, the days of your struggling and striving are over. You won't wake up perfect, but you'll realize there's nothing I can do except continue my fellowship and my relationship with my Father, which will bring me into the transformation that I need. And so, don't worry about your fault. Don't worry about your problems. Don't worry about the imperfections in your life. Just learn to enjoy God in your daily life. Learn to set and meditate on the good things of life. Well, Brother Super, would it be close to like um, Chuck Wheeler right before he died wrote, sent one newsletter out that said, uh, could I be so bold, he said, to say that you are that lake of fire that purifies your brethren. Yeah. He said, can I be so bold as to say that you are those angels that minister to your brethren in the lower realms? Yes. And to move it on even further, would it not be fair to say that we are that word made flesh. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Would it not be fair to say that, that you are the living God? Yeah. That I look amongst and, and see today not to, um, not God to be out there, but if you cannot see your brother who's placed before you and know that he is the living God, yeah. how could you love God who you've never seen? Mm -hmm. right. Amen. Good word. Now God told Jeremiah way back in the Old Testament. He said, I'm going to put my words in, in your mouth. And when you speak my words, they'll be like a fire. It will go forth and burn out the residue of my people. And that's what we're doing today. You can set in the presence of people who have this reality and they can literally speak reality into you. Jesus said, the words that I speak, they are what spirit and life. You can do that too. You got so much life in you, you can speak life and speak it into another. And see, that's why Paul said, "There's not, or not, wasn't Paul? I believe it was James. I don't know who it was." He said, There's "Not many fathers among you." Right. Well, a father reproduces life. Yes. A child, you know, even though they can, that's it's it's the father consciousness that begins to well up in you. And then by the very words that you speak, you can reproduce life in another. Because spirit speaks to spirit. Deep speaks unto deep. Yes. And so when you speak with the, not with the knowledge, but when you speak with the revelation that your words are spirit and life, they enter down into the hearts of God's people where that seed may have been dormant for years and your head may be spinning and your head may be saying this guy's crazy but if someone is speaking in spirit and life it will enter you and begin to change your life without your kind of knowledge at all and see that that's who we are we are ministers of spirit and life and when I say we I mean all of us can come into that revelatory knowledge to bring life and change. <clears throat> and all of the creation is what waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Here you are. They're waiting to hear the living word of God that will bring change and transformation. Amen. Amen.